Hodge, you broke the story this week that TSN is making some ch 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 changes to its lineup for the CFL on TSN following the departure of Chris Cuthbert to the other network, Sportsnet in Canada. Rod Smith will move from the panel to a full time play by play role with Kate Beerness taking over the panel full time. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I think it's a good move, honestly. I mean, no one compares to Chris Cuthbert. Chris Cuthbert is, uh, in my estimation, not only the best play-by-play voice in Canada, but maybe arguably one of the best, if not the best in the world. I hope I'm not overstating that, but that's how highly I think of Chris Cuthbert. Um, watching him call hockey games made my heart hurt this winter, thinking about the 2019 Great Cup and all the years ahead of that. Um, and the amazing work that he did covering our game and our league. Uh, but that said, I mean, Rod Smith is fantastic. He was great hosting the panel, which he did for uh, about the last five years since the departure of, of Dave Randorf. So I think he's going to be great in that role. Uh, we're also going to see a lot of Dustin Nielsen in the booth, particularly with Rod Black covering the women's worlds uh, for the month of August. Uh, but I think Kate is going to do a fantastic job on the panel. I really liked her on the Thursday night panel that they did in 2019. And I think there's there's certainly something to be said about having a fresh voice and a fresh look on the panel uh, that, that comes with her presence there. And the female perspective as well. Kate provides a lot of energy and a younger feel to that panel. And as for Rod Smith being a play-by-play man, some people that might not be familiar with his career will say, well, he's normally just been a studio guy or hosted sports center for all those years with that great voice that he has. But actually in the late 1990s, he called CFL games. Like he has experience with this and the game of football is near and dear to his heart. He was an offensive lineman at Queens university in the late seventies, early eighties. So Smith loves the game. And I believe that's really going to come out when he gets the mic full time as a play-by-play guy for TSN. Yeah. Smith has one of the best voices in sports. Um, if I had that voice of his, uh, <laughs> I, I, I would never stop talking to be quite honest. Uh, I wish I did. Um, and I did see some pushback, not a lot, but some pushback to my report on social media from people complaining that there's a woman on the panel or saying, well, what does Kate know about football? Well, I want to say it right here for everybody in the back. She knows more than you. Please don't don't sit there and say, oh, what does she know? She's a woman. That, that's irrelevant. This is 2021. We've got women coaching in youth sports. We're going to have women coaching this in the CFL soon. Uh, the fact that somebody is male or female has absolutely no impact on their ability to assess sports. Um, and at the end of the day, when you're hosting a panel, Primarily, your job is to ask good questions, to be lighthearted, to be quippy, to be funny, to be entertaining. And Kate is sensational at all those things. So I think between between Rod taking on his new role, Kate taking on her new role, I think it's going to be a really good match for TSN. There's a lot of people out there, and you alluded to this earlier, Hodge, that said, well, there's no true number one play-by-play person with Cuthbert going to Sportsnet. But Cuthbert grew into that role himself, right? He developed it. So you have to give people an opportunity, be it Rod Smith or Dustin Nielsen or anyone else, to grow into that role. You don't just show up and be that type of guy or girl or female, let's say, in that role instantly. Chris Cuthbert is the gold standard for live event broadcasting in the country when it comes to play by play. But he's earned that reputation through his work over years and years and years. So it takes time to build up to it. And clearly TSN sees the talent that they have in house and are giving them the opportunity to take that number one spot.